Welcome to week four with me, Ruby Lou, a short form variety show that I'm creating as an excuse to pass the time. Why don't I do it? Why don't I do it this week? I'm I just answering. But this week, my name runs with four, Eleanor, four. I had thought about that. Yeah. You're right. I'm, I'm, I'm always right. Turning it over now to Eleanor. Welcome to week four. Hi, I'm Eleanor. I'm taking over this week um, because my name rhymes with four and that's the gag that um, Ruby has going on uh, for this series. So <laughs> welcome to week four with Eleanor. Today's episode is dedicated to the kids. Um, so we're gonna do some fun stuff for the kids. You know, I think that uh, some parents I've heard from on, on my Facebook, they need some help. So why don't I do that? Why don't I, why don't I do some things for the kids? We're gonna have a new story time segment led by me. Um, we're gonna do uh, some very classic treats in the kitchen. Um, we might just play around in the dollhouse, I don't know. I, I kind of think that bit's pretty stupid. Uh, I'm not talking to that Alexa, she is insane. Anyway, welcome to week four with Eleanor. kitchen. Today, for our special afternoon snack, we're making homemade chocolate chip cookies. I've got soul, i got soul food. Okay, let's get started on our cookie dough. First, we need to soften our butter. I have half a cup of butter here, and I'm just going to throw it in our bowl and stick it in the microwave for about 15 seconds. going to add a half a cup of white sugar and a half a cup of brown sugar. We're going to give that a good mix up, kind of get it creamy before we add our other ingredients. I'm watching the butter and I want to, I don't want it to melt completely and get really hot, but I do want it to soften enough to where I can stir the sugar into it and it'll dissolve. white sugar, half of a cup. Just dump that right in there. And half a cup of brown sugar, light brown sugar. To our sugar and butter mixture, we're adding one egg. Give that a stir. Put that one in there. Now I've got a half of a teaspoon of baking powder. Sorry, baking soda, not baking powder. And I'm going to put half of a teaspoon of baking soda into a teaspoon of warm water. Just get it dissolved in there. We don't want it clumping up. And the batter, we want it to disperse very evenly. This is what's known as a slurry. That's a fun, fun cooking term. We're, creating, we're making a slurry here. See how it's dissolving in there? Go ahead and add that to our mixture. flour that I have already 
been sifting in a bowl. If you sift your flour, um, I just think it leads to lighter cookies. So I don't have a sifter, I'm just using this um, colander spoon. It comes out really nice and powdery, prevents clumping. Cookies are happier. our flour into the rest of the batter. So let's just dump that in there. And for this recipe, I'm using dark chocolate and milk chocolate. Um, I am much more of a dark chocolate fan. A lot of people like their cookies with semi-sweet chocolates, but I thought that just a little milk chocolate chunk in with a dark chocolate chip sounded like what the doctor ordered for, for right now, so that's what we're doing. Um, we need a cup of chocolate chips. chocolate chunks as a bonus. Mm -hmm. The milk chocolate came in baker's um, squares, so just roughly chop them up with your knife. And get, them, get them to the size you want. I have humongous chunks in there. Looking chunky. Chunking it up. Mm. We're putting our milk chocolate chunks in with our dark chocolate chips. <clears throat> to the mixing. Get the chips all nice and incorporated in there. <clears throat> Oops. Okay. Last thing I need that I forgot to set out is some salt. I like to add I just gotta add salt to everything, but particularly in sweet dishes, just a little bit of salt. something extra, tell ya. Okay. Yum. You see how easy that was? Whole House, you know, they have prepackaged cookies, but I think making cookies with kids is great because you can work on measuring, you can work on, um, you know, if you reduce a recipe, it's good for your math skills. It's good for your metric conversions. It's good for so many things. Okay, I'm using the toast oven today because I'm just making cookies and right now I'm just gonna make a few because I can save the dough for later and I'm gonna want some more later. So I'm just using actually a tablespoon and Walk them down one by one. Two. I want to be about the same size, but who am I? Who am I here to impress? Nobody. I like share and. 
Who is cooking for Christian right now? Okay. As long as they taste good, that's really all I care about. They're about the same size, like I said. Doesn't even matter. You might have some that are a little doughier than others. Some people like their cookies really crispy, and some people like them doughy. stick them in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes and then I'll see you on the other side. You're, You're in the, the doghouse dog now. now. You're in the doghouse now. Hey Graham. Hi honey. Hey. How you doing? Oh I'm fine honey. I'm doing fine. Just fine. Yeah. Mm, fine and dandy. Isolation's treating you well? Oh well you it's just like just like it always was, nothing's, nothing's well, different. That's not true, you don't get to see anybody. Oh, honey, I'm seeing many body, many able bodies. What do you mean? Well, I, I'm a, on a new website, it's called Tinder. It's spelled different than Tinder, but I, and I've got some other, some photos up there. They're not me, but Graham, I'm talking you to know, some, I'm talking to some really so handsome So you're using men. other people's photos? Well, yes, I, I, how would I, they wouldn't be interested in seeing me. You know that's called fishing? Well, I'd, I've been fishing, honey, darling, but I can't get out of the house. No, it's called catfishing, doing that. Well, I, I don't see no problem with it. I think it's great. Holy freaking moly, they're huge. They're gigantic. They ended up taking longer than 10 minutes because they're huge. They took around 15 minutes because I... You know, I like mine a little crispy on the edges, so. Um, I don't know how I threw my, threw this off. Can you see me? There's nothing left to do but pour yourself a cold glass of milk and dive in. gooey thing going on, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm gonna get so fat. Thank you for joining me in the kitchen. Until next time. She's like Mother Goose, but her morals are loose. It's story time with Eleanor. Welcome to Story Time with Eleanor. Today we're reading Tiny T Rex and the Impossible Hug. Okay, page one looks like there's a big uh, pink dinosaur, small little T Rex. T Rex, I think he feels badly that the big one is laying down in the ground. The problem with this T-Rex is that he's a T-Rex, so his arms are really short. No matter how tall I continue to get, my arms won't grow, um, is what he says. And he, um, but he's still a real, he's still a good guy at heart. He's really very tiny in general. If you look at the difference between the size of him and the guy whose head he's sitting on, he's pretty small. And I think he's asking for some advice here. I think the advice here is... Make sure you stay in school. Make sure you learn your calculus and your uh, your your uh, arithmetic and your algebra, all that good jazz. Here's another big one. She's again, she's much larger than him. He's still sad. She's gonna give him some fashion tips, maybe. Uh, looks like she's quite the gardener.
He's so small, he fits in the drawer. He's tiny. He must have brought that daisy back from the other lady, though. That's nice. Um, yeah, this lady's looking at him with a uh, great deal of admiration. Might be his mom, something like that. You know, what's confusing about this is he, the problem is his arms are too short to do anything. But now he, all of a sudden, he's um, able to play table tennis. So maybe his arms are growing. Now it looks like he's drawing some diagrams. Pretty good. He's a pretty pretty artistic guy. Oh, now he's training. He's getting very serious. He's he's not eating ice cream anymore. He's jumping, skipping rope. He's punching things. He's getting pretty serious about looks like, oh gosh, he had a run in with a cactus. Well here he is, he's hitching a ride, looks like. He's on his way somewhere he couldn't quite get to on foot. But it looks like in the end he, he makes his way back to the sad guy and uh, looks like he's he's able to give him a little cheer up. So that's a nice moral of that story. This has been uh, story time with me, Eleanor. See you next time. That was a blast. I'm really getting the hang of it now. I'll see you tomorrow. More stories, more treats. Welcome to week four with Eleanor. And I'll, I'll see you then. Ha take care of yourself, okay? Do 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 do